Good morning. Today is 14 days after my surgery and it's gone so, so quickly. Um, it's uh, It's been, well, there's been ups and downs and all sorts. Um, last night I actually had seven hours straight of what I call really, really good sleep where I didn't get uncomfortable. Um, yesterday I tried to reduce my painkillers um, which I'm going to eventually try and do um, because I hadn't realised but they are a form of morphine. Um, not the morphine I was given in hospital, it didn't agree with me, but different morphine. And um, I woke up this morning and, and I was it was really, really sore. So maybe I'm rushing things, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but 14 days after surgery means I can have a shower and I can wash my hair, which is beautiful. <laughs> I really can't wait to have a shower and wash my hair. And also, um, my bandage comes off today. So it will be my first look at the scar. Um, it's an enormous cut. I mean, it's probably, well, it is huge. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to have a huge scar. But I really, really don't care because my life is going to be so much better. And I will wear that scar with pride. Anyway, um, I thought I would do another video um, when I've had my shower, done my hair and um, look a bit more tidy than I look right now. Um, and when the dressing comes off, because um, I think I'm actually quite nervous about peeling it off. It, it's not going to be like a plaster where if you rip it off, it doesn't hurt. That would not be the way to go. It's going to be... have it's going to have to be taken off quite slowly um, and I'm just um, I'm quite nervous about um, I suppose not having the assurance it feels like having the dressing over it is holding me together if that makes sense and when I take it off will I feel as secure I, it's a it's really weird, I know. It, my head's in a bit of a spin about it. Um, but yeah, it's coming off today and um, I will update you later. Um, I may even take a photo. Um, if I do take a photo and put it in my, my video blog or vlog, I will give you a warning so you can close your eyes or look away because not everybody wants to look at my scar. Um, but um, yeah. 14 days and just four weeks more till I go and see the consultant again. So I've still got four weeks of still sleeping on my back, no bending, walking on two crutches. Um, another two weeks of pain thinner, pe pain thinners, blood thinners. And I've got to now try and reduce my pain medication if I can. However, the hospital did tell me that you heal better when you're not in pain. So um, I've got to bear that in mind. I, I kind of feel a, a little bit of a failure for taking them. But on the other hand, if I don't take them, I don't actually know how I would cope. So anyway, that's my update for today and I will speak soon. Bye bye. So just had my first shower after two weeks. The dressing has come off, and I've taken a <clears throat> I've taken a photograph. Um, so if you're squeamish and you don't want to see it, I would count to five now. Can't say it's easy having a shower with two crutches. <laughs> quite funny actually but it feels so good to be clean again and uh, once I've dried my hair I will feel a little bit more like me and I may even put some makeup on tomorrow. May. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.